Alright, so so far I feel like I'm being trolled, right? I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like hypnotizing. Now this is marketing. Ooh. 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 Bro, I'm already getting the chills! These power chords. Bro, I don't even know what to say right now. The distortion of the synths and the power chords is like perfect. Woo! The choir! This progression reminds me of Down by Chris Brown and Kanye. I wanted to change. There it is. The strings coming in. If the beat drops, I'm going to lose my mind. Yo, I love that unexpected group singing right there. I'm wondering about the features too. I know there was a lot of them. It's like a damn DJ Khaled album. Hidden, I bet. Hove on the first track? I'm with your baby when I touch back road. Ooh, talking to his mom. This might be the return of the throne. Let's see. <laughs> and Jesus, like Moses and Jesus. Bro. On my cell, in my cell the night. Jay Z is the beat drop. You're God, waiting for the beat to drop, but then Jay Z comes in and it's like almost hell, just as satisfying. It's a hell of a life. Yikes. Doesn't even need drums. It's just heavy enough. That's gonna be a catchy melody. God's gonna post my bell. Oh man. Okay. That melody is hard with that that bass line though. I really feel like that's an electric guitar that's in the, the program Omnisphere, but just a lot of distortion. Oh, we got our drums, ladies and gentlemen. Big times. A signature Kanye style production is long drum intros. What's the payoff? Give me the payoff here. What is this? Oh, we're still on jail. Oh, that's the end of the song. God breathe. We on some Yeezus stuff now. I know God breathe on this. I know God breathe on this. I know God breathe on this. Let's go. Who is this? Who is this? Who's singing? I like the distorted uh story. This is like Jesus like mixed with Jesus the King to me. me. This is an interesting choice for the often, yeah. second God, song. Don't call it I get it. I, I get what he's doing with this. Alright, I am gonna pause for a second here. I do wanna say I like the whole God breathed on this. God breathed on like it's very chanty. That's gonna be really memorable. That's saying like my song is fire. Cause God breathed on this. You know what I mean? So that means this that, <laughs> This song is fire. Like, what you talking about? You know what I mean? I don't know. Getting hit to this, this, this little bass line that he's got going on. Like, it's a nice tempo to it, but musically, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. So far, Jail is whooping this one's ass. I think. Day hearts are filled with grief. Nice okay, harmonies you here. I know that you'll be proud if you was here today. Mm, nice it's vocals okay. though. I think I think we're gonna get some kind of switch up at some point. It's just building up suspense here. It's like a movie. The best scenes aren't in the beginning, typically. I like how the bass line is doing that. Short, short, short. Long, long, long. Long, 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 long. The next song is crazy. That's what I figured. It's like a setup. And when you're this big of an artist, you can afford to do that on albums. You can literally tease your fans with a song that's like just a setup for what's next to come. You know what I mean? Upcoming artists have to hit you with fire every single song. Otherwise, just you're gonna lose the listener. But you trust Kanye enough. Cardi's on this? Next one? And Fabio? Okay, all right. We're left in limbo. I mean, this choir singing is pretty dope. And that bass line was so heavy and so dense that now when it's gone, it feels so empty right now. It just completely changed the tone of this song. Next track is God Tier. Yo, y'all hyping up this next song. What's happening? Five was on it. Does that does that mean it's a drill beat? 
No. When my kid, kid, kids never disguise my attention. Lies okay. outside the event. We off the grid, 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 grid. We off the grid, grid, grid. Ooh, I like that drum fill. Oh, this Cardi's. Yo, he sounds really good. Playboy and Cardi sounds really good right now. Let's go! This feature is better than the Drake one with Playboy Cardi. That was the right energy right there. Oh! Oh, he made it a drill beat for him! Oh! Oh! Bro, how does game my heart rich up? My mind smarter, my ground harder, and my car quicker. I'm at her church, she pray for me. She put wearing cheap coats, and I'm in houses and see notes. What came over five of you? I'm not really clicking with, I know they pray that we settle out the bed. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling it. You switched up. Look, first of his life. Finish me, I don't get too friendly with the enemy. Bro, listen, listen, bro, hold on, hold on. He's still going! When Kanye West takes the time to change the whole beat to fit your signature style, that's the ultimate like cosign and sign of respect from one artist to another man. Because like or producer to artist, wh whatever. Icon! Icon! Because Kanye West is a fucking icon. I can't wait to listen to this again. I really can't. I haven't heard Kanye without a crazy effect on his voice yet. And I love it. We haven't heard a dry vocal from Kanye West yet, this whole album. There he is. When's the last time I heard him rap like this? That pad in the background, man. Yo, I'm pretty sure that that's the same vocal from the beginning. Like, I think it's the same exact vocal take. He just uh, had to, just took all the effects off of it here. So this is what it sounds like when it's dry without the effects. All right, so what I said before about him changing the beat for Fabio, I don't know if that's true now. Now I'm starting to wonder if he changed the beat for Playboy Cardi. Like, I wonder if this was the original beat he had and then he restructured it to be, you know, the uh, the beat from the beginning to match Playboy Cardi style. I don't know, I'm, I'm interested in stuff like that. I'm really interested in stuff like that. This is a banger. This song is crazy. He killed the drill beat, yo. He killed it. With those 808s is just crazy. The weekend little Baby's next. Cause a black man never shares Black man never shares his rib. That heavy 808 with that clicky snare. Made it completely dry, just cut it off. That did something to me. Ah! <laughs> that cut off is crazy. Little baby is winning. You hear these organs? Mm. Little baby doesn't miss with his feature verses, yo. <laughs> he really does it. Ooh, weekend. Oh my God, Abel. Have my babies, Abel! Why is it catching me off guard whenever Kanye starts rapping? He's a rapper! Here I go acting too rich! The timing of these drums. And it's not like... I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind reacting to this. Ew. I'm going to lose my mind. It's not even like a hey, look at me. I did a beat switch. Wasn't that cool? It was just, it's just what the song just subtly needed to hit the next level and to keep you just enough engaged so you don't get like bored or, or like feel like it's dragging. Like, yes, yes, organic, yes. Mm mm mm. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that part back. But you can't you can't listen to a Kanye album once. You cannot listen to Next a Kanye. Wrote, Facts. Speech to the young. 
He's really leaning into the 808s. Heavy. That's Travis Scott, right? The devil my A chance. Whoever said it's like Christians, but he makes it sound like more relatable. I don't know. Into the night. I love that. Okay, spotlight's on you, Keem. Let's get right. Let's get right. Let's get right. Really leaning into these organs too. 808s and organs. I like this. Took a little risk with the squeaky voice there. I don't know about that one. That that was pushing it a little bit. This is all clean. I didn't even notice this is clean lyrics. That must have been hard for King, yo. Dirk and Boy. Yeah, I love these chords. These chords are very emotional. Very emotional. I am vibing with the heavy. So far, what I got to say about this album is because it's so insanely feature heavy. And I said it before, kind of like what DJ Khaled does with his compilations. I feel like Kanye the producer is shining more on this one than Kanye the artist. But don't get me wrong, with this type of thematics and type of just overall feelings you get and not just a bunch of just trying to be a single song, trying to be a single. Like when you listen to a DJ Khaled album, it's like, all right, let's do this song. Hopefully it ends up being a smash single. Okay, let's do this song. Hopefully it's a smash single. This one is being told in a compelling way and there's a, a storyline to it and there's just an emotional feeling you get from it. DJ Khaled's album can never do that. You know what I mean? So that's the difference. I can be the cleanest me, you know. I'm from the mud still. Blood yeah, that line is hard. The electric block. I like that. It get ugly like that. Can't get no money like that. Cause my guys back to work. It's a Monday like that. And when you text change the beginning of Hold on. Your big homie go back. Back to work. It's a Monday like that. How does he do this? It's a weird phase effect on this. This is gonna be hype though. Mmm, that bending bass line. Mmm. Yachty on this? Is this Yachty? This is Yachty right now? You hear Yachty doing the, the background vocals too? You hear it because you can tell it's his voice. In the background. He sounds so chill right now. Yo, when you get that call saying, yo, yo, it's Kanye. Uh, I want you on my new album. They bring out everything they learned in music in their whole life and they put it in this verse. These artists are more versatile than you think, yo. Had them chicks clean up my house, told them be a use. Bossy disloyalty didn't wait with the serenity juice. He's off beat. <laughs> I don't mind it with Yachty though. Kanye is the king of 808s. Once again. This Ruga. Okay. He just answered me. I'm not familiar with Ruga. This is the, the least amount of uh, beat switches or like beat changes or just different elements changing the beat. This has been the whole beat the whole time. Same exact 808 pattern, the same exact pads, but it's interesting. Like, this is why I want to have a conversation with Kanye. Like, why? Why is it okay? Because I'm not really too bothered by it. But it's like, why is it okay for this song to be that, for the production at least, to be that monotonous? You know what I mean? Like, how do you get away with it with this? There's no snares, there's no claps, there's no hats. It's literally 808s and pads. Like, what is it about this that makes it, that made you be like, this beat doesn't need anything more. Like, this is all it needs. And maybe he wouldn't even have an answer. Maybe he would just be like, it just felt right. Or, uh. Okay, so, so this was a sample. I got gross speeded there. Four, five, seven, four, four, five, seven, four. Is that background noise I hear? And Playboy Cardi's vocals. 
I feel like I hear his chains or something. All right, the, the thing that bothers me about this is this beat is very kind of looped and monotonous like the last beat. So I thought OK OK was like going to be a build up. And then this one would be like a little bit more hyped. It is a little more hyped, but it's still the production is kind of dry on this one. I'm going to be completely honest. I like the junior thing. So. Hey. Ooh. Yay. And Cardi go back and forth. That's legendary. So so the thing, I'm sorry to pause so much on this one, but yeah, the thing with Cardi is it's not about it's really not about what he says at all. He's part of the uh he's part of the production. He's just one of those artists where he is he's the instrument. He's another instrument, you know what I mean? And he's just there to kind of enhance the beat and just you just vibe to it. You don't even think about it. Like if you're nodding your head to it and you're bouncing to it, that's all that's all Cardi wants. Like it's nothing else involved. There's no really layers to what he's saying. Nothing like that. That's just not the that's not what you listen to him for. Lauren Hill. Yo. What's up? Yo. You need something unexpected. Yo. Oh, this is the up the up tempo we needed. Bro, this is f***ing fire. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. I love that crispy bass line, these kicks. Woo! The love. Oh, and then this switch up right here. Man, it's too early. What the hell you do waking me up at 5.30? People saying tweeting gonna be... Little shakers, okay? Something's there, feel it when I heard it. Graduation sin. I'm sorry, I'm just vibing, yo. I was about to pause it, but I'ma let you. <laughs> Ooh, that's a weird chord change there. I like it. Yo, I love when Kanye gets in that singing bag, yo. And like, I mean, he's not the greatest singer in the world, but you could. It just sounds so damn soulful. Like it sounds like it's all from here, all from here every time. Every time Kanye sings, every time he raps, I just believe it. I just believe what the hell he's saying, and I believe what he's talking about is just straight from the heart. And that's, you, you can't replicate that, man. You just. Oh, I like the dub on the vocals there. It's a poem. Bro, this is taking me somewhere. These weird pads are kind of creeping me out. I'm glad you brought the hook back in. The next track is 24. Um, we're 11. We're about to be on the 11th song now. Or 11th track, I should say. We're not even halfway done with the album. That song was definitely a highlight right there. And for what it's worth, it was kind of a solo song. And it's interesting that his melody is so strong. You need a strong melody there because you're going over Lauren Hill's harmonies in the background. La, da, la, 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 la. Like going off in the background, that's a very busy, vocally busy part of the, you know, Lauren Hill's song. So now with putting another vocal over all those vocals, it's gotta be a strong melody that just cuts through. And he pulled it off. Let's keep going. 24. <laughs> Gotta make it right for you left. Got do me over to owe me. Let it out, let it all out. God, please let it all right. Make it right. I didn't know he could sing like this. <laughs> I didn't know he could sing like that. I really didn't. You know what this feels like? The, the last song just reminded me of waking up like early in the morning and like interacting with your family for some reason. That's what that reminded me of. Um, that's the vibe I got from Believe What I Say. Now this track 24 actually sounds like like maybe that was Sunday morning, just getting ready and seeing your family and stuff in the morning at the house. And now this is actually being at church on that Sunday morning. You know what I mean? That's kind of the, the vibe I'm getting. How did he record this choir? It sounds so buzzy and like a lot okay. of high end. All right, we're just vibing we on this one. Okay. Ooh, the little pianos.
Do you hear the change that just happened with the, the choir? Like it just got drier and drier and more intimate and intimate. And now it sounds like a way smaller group of people singing. God's not finished. And I'm starting to wonder if it's the same choir, same group of singers, but it just all those effects made it sound like more people. No, we gonna be I don't okay. know. That kind of blew my mind a little bit. We gonna be okay. mm, the blend of the organs and pianos is... That sounds like so many people. Please don't ask again who's up in the fan. Oh, we're not wasting any time. We're just getting into the next one. The drum fill. Doug's on this one. So we got this long synth bass with this whistle. He got it on remote control. Like a Nice run. What's this called? The music voice box effect? This is a vibe. For Young Thug, like, I'm so used to the high energy stuff. And, like, a, a lot of these artists, we're just getting more chilled versions of a lot of these artists. They, like, basically come down to earth, basically, for a lot of these songs that they're on, on this project. Young Thug, I thought, has always had... Really underrated melodies, to be honest with you. His melody game is insane. Um, he kind of followed Kanye's lead on this melody-wise. Flow is still on point. His ad-libs were dope. You just have no choice but to bob your head to it, in my opinion. Just bounce with it. So I love that drum fill. Like I said, that little whistle is kind of haunting. But it's an interesting choice. <whistles> Whatever. And it has a whole bunch of delay on it. I can't whistle that great. <laughs> wobble, 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 gobble, gobble, la, ba, 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 ba. I know who you are. Who are you? I know your voice. Tolliver, yes. I'm not used to hearing him in the falsetto. Mm. The guitars are blending with some like brass synth. That brass synth, the last time I heard Kanye use that, I think was on uh, Watch the Throne. I think he used it on Liftoff, I think. Oh, and Cuddy? Okay. Oh yeah, that's definitely oh cutting. Man on the moon, right? He's on the moon track. The timing of when Kanye comes in is always just... It's just right. I don't know. <laughs> this is hard. They got all three of them singing their parts right now, and they all came together. And it's what Kanye's panned here, Cuddy's here, Tolliver's in the middle, Cuddy's doing his signature, mmm, where it sounds like a phone is vibrating on a table, mmm. Yeah, this is. Tolliver always has a lot of reverb on his voice, so it just works. What? What kind of sample is this? I know the real you. Ooh. You know we feel you. You know he hears you. Ooh, you know these ascending chords. They go down. You pray, we pray too. You pray, Hell, pray too. they go up. Never too late. Heaven. Level make devils pray now. Hold up, no peace. Hold up, police. Oh my God. Make sure it's safe for who's left. Bro, that was a journey. Oh my God, in that minute and 40 seconds, he took us on a whole, like, a whole journey with that. I did not see that drop coming. I really didn't. Those vocals in the background. I do like that clap. It's just a really like crunchy synth bass going on here. Ariana Grande is on Donda? It's only two minutes long. It feels good to be home. And to all of you. Is Kanye well, he said something that was a little bit dangerous. on this song? He told me, I, and you know, I am my son's mother. Wait. What he has meant to me. Huh? What? Wait, is that her? Is this, is this a, like a, uh, is that actually Donda 
Or am I tripping? Am I missing something very important here? So this just happens to just really work with this. Forever. That's the title track for the album. That that was very interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's like Ariana Grande's on the song and she is just background vocals. And barely. She's like tucked in the harmonies. Is the texture of her voice that important to Kanye? Like it has to be Ariana Grande that's on this. Like, is that how much of a perfectionist he is? It, it, it could have been anybody. It could have been any. It could have been him doing falsettos with enough reverb, and it probably would have had a similar effect. But Ariana Grande has that <sighs> in her voice. So was he like, I need that, that specific tiny little detail. That's what I need for this for this song. That's a tribute to my mother. Is that the level of perfectionist? That Kanye is, that just kind of blew my mind. Thank God. It's a vibe though, so far. Oh, they're from Griselda. Okay, okay, okay. That's clutch. Such a classic type of Kanye beat right here. Just these hard hitting drums, very heavy with these hi hats going. Tss, 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 tss. Just, it has that Chicago feel to it. And these pads in the background are kind of, kind of like organs. So it keeps that gospelish feel he's going for. What? What the hell did he just say? Talking about Marvel? That went over my head. I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't do commercials. They're too commercial. I've never heard that before where it goes from a regular sounding crisp vocal to the phone voice and then back and then to the phone voice. Royce was on that verse? See, these feature insertions are weird. Or are they genius? I'm gonna go with genius. This sounds so... How is the sound doing that? It sounds so wide. I can feel this sound coming to me. It like doesn't feel like I have headphones on. It feels like it's coming through speakers. Tell me if you know someone that needs While this album does have a lot of versatility to it, there is definitely like an underlying theme with these heavy 808s here, like these short sounding 808s kind of mixed with, with a little with a little bit of a lengthy release on them. But then those organs in the back. I mean, if you want to make a Donda type beat, these 808s, those organs, there you go. Maybe some choirs here and there, but they gotta be certain types of choirs. They can't be just like synthesized choirs that come from software and stuff like that. Uh. Damn. Moving to the hood was like signing up for the army. That's a, that's a bar. I think this song is supposed to be Kanye as a, uh, as a kid. Uh, perspective as a kid because he's talking about since we've been watching Barney he's talking about Buzz Lightyear he's talking about moving to the hood like it's just like all these things I think this is like little yay <laughs> young yay yay young father didn't show up that she just feeling nauseous like she finna throw up the water flows Damn. down her legs yeah it's finna go up this you beat is crazy that's hard it's great storytelling on this verse for sure it's not drowned out by you know um talking about like christianity and stuff like that so i mean for me it just i don't know it's just hitting more home because for me when you're not religious and you hear all that stuff on tracks like i respect it when I hear it, I understand it, but I don't connect with it as much. You know what I mean? So him now just talking about like personal life and like stuff like that is just, I don't know, it just connects with me more. Tell me one reason I shouldn't send you up to Christ. He said, go ahead, take my Yeesh. life. I've seen everything but Christ. What a way to word it. I've seen everything but Christ. Whoa. Oh, nine minute song. 
This song is nine minutes. Oh, I was like, yo, I know this voice. Spit! I don't want to take away from him, but Nas would have Nas would have spazzed on his beat, bro. Nas would have. <laughs> I do like when Kanye mumbles a little bit, you know what I mean, with the little auto-tune effect, the little Like, cause he already said it clearly in one part of the song, so he could get away with just mumbling it and you'll know it. It's just like, just vibing. I need Jesus! So the locks are coming? Who? Who exactly? Oh, okay, 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 I'm looking at it now. Chris Brown on the next one? I'll be honest, I'm just ready for the next song. It was a vibe, it was a vibe. New again! Let's go. Let's fly. Never let nobody curb me that don't deserve me. Should I really bought the Burberry last Thursday? We have is the deep end. Ooh, these baby, let's go. I'll be gone by the weekend, baby XO. Thank you, thank you for your mercy. Make me know. Make me know again. Make All right, I think I'm rocking with it. It's got a very like side chainy type feel to it. Like it's not it feels like it's like pumping life into you. You know what I mean? Like it feels like I don't know why. It just reminds me of like a heart pumping or something like that or something powering up. And I, it's supposed to be an empowering song, so I guess that makes a lot of sense. Ooh. Chris Brown blended with this choir is pretty dope. See, this is that thing. You hear you hear the voice where he needs to be hydrated, he needs water. He needs water because he sounds so damn raspy. Kanye, that's not a mistake. Or sometimes I wonder if it wasn't supposed to come out like that. And it just did, and he's like, oh, I like that. Keep that. You know what I mean? It's this one's alright. Not crazy about it. Is the album losing steam? Pop Smoke is next. Tell the vision. Like television? Tell a vision? Tell the vision? We made it. We made it, we made it. Look, my mom made it. Yo, I remember the days. It's really for the state. This is weird. I'm gonna be straight up. This is fing weird. <laughs> You can hear the beat coming through in the background, but I feel like they did like some effects to it to try to make it sound like a pop smoke acapella without the beat. So you can literally hear the drums like way in the back, like as almost they're like bleeding through the headphones while he's recording. And they just want the piano to be part of the instrument. I mean, I know Kanye hears the background. This is weird. This is weird. This song by Kanye. Okay, so it's just paying homage, I guess. I was just skipping around and it's literally that piano for the rest of the time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that was an L. There is no L in Donda, I, I disagree. That was an L, but the gesture, yeah, like somebody said, is a nice gesture for sure. So obviously rest in peace, but what the fuck was that? I give up on doing things my way. This is beautiful. Just a fling, huh? Three hours to get mm. back from Palm Springs, huh? Who talked to me nicely? Don't come at me like nah, yeah, I'm nah, 16. I could barely nah. afford an Audi. Huh? Yo, I love this this vibe. I think that's like some kind of like electric piano or something, but it's really drowned out. <laughs> some kind of effect kind of making the sound like kind of wobbly, wishy-washy. I don't even know how to really describe it. Kanye's vocals are super raw. Like you even hear him do like little things that most engineers would take out of their vocals. Cause he was like da da ba da ba. Like you even heard like that part of his listen. Billionaire sport. Step up to the court. You heard that? He was like, billionaire sport. Step up to the court. Like like little things like that. Usually you take that out, but he just wanted to keep it raw and keep it uh yeah, raw. That's the only way to put it. I like the chiming of those high notes in the background. Oh, but I guess it's going different in a different direction. Speak first, don't break me. Yo, this vibe is crazy. I love how when he came in with his singing, there was the high vocals in the background, like, ah, da, 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 da. and then you got the, those are electric pianos. 
confirmed because now they're playing the high notes, like the little sparkly sound. Such a great sense of melody this guy's got, man. Don't take me to your mercy. I give up on doing things my way. Where's the other? And I sell my soul. Is this a uh, Roddy? Sell my soul. He got all these trap artists to do Christian music. Man, it's really like these same 808s on so many songs. The folks, after all of the jokes, I'm the one that was chose. Whoa, 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 he paused for a reason after saying that. He was like, let me let that marinate. After all the jokes, all I was the one that was bang. chose. This one's pretty fire. It ain't how it used to be. It's a six minute song. This a new me, so get used to me. Wow, we went through the a nine minute song. We did. With, huh? Is that Kanye? All right, that's Roddy. Nah, that's Roddy. That was Roddy Rich that got that high, I think. The truth is the only thing you'll get away with. There's some one-liners in this, man. Every song has an overall message that can't be ignored. Roddy Rich got a dope voice. For sure. But one thing I will say is there's a lot of repetition on this album, man. Like, a lot. A lot of just chanting the same thing over and over, repeating the same thing over and over. And you know what's very good for that? You know what's very, very good for that is gospel. Gospel music always has like very extended choruses, a lot of repeats of the same lyrics over and over and over. So that influence is definitely bleeding over onto this album. Her vocals sound pretty dope. More punch on the organs now. It's got that glass organ texture to it, that gling. Right there. Mm. Didn't have a clean fade out. Interesting. Interesting. Bro, he is singing on this album. Wow. Background talking and clapping. This Wow. Make it all come to life. Make it all come to life. So there's a choir hidden between behind these organs right now. I love that chord. These pianos. Sign is setting in again. What? Bro, the distortion on this, like, I don't know if it's electric guitar or what. I've longed for this Kanye production, this type of Kanye production. Ooh, the bend, the fret. Went. Yeah, that piano is wild. No drums. He doesn't need drums. If the beat dropped, I'd lose my mind, but Tyler is playing the piano? Oh, okay. He's a beast on the piano, so. They had all the high notes on the right side. That was interesting. That could have definitely been the last song, but how are we going to close it out? Shocking. Organs. No child left behind. No child left behind. There's another organ on top of the other organs. What's happening? No child left behind. No child left behind. Not one. Who am I listening to right now? Who is this? Oh, it's Void. So th this album is pretty damn religious, so. too. <laughs> it it is in a good way. It's better than Jesus is King in terms of that, because it doesn't sound like he's forcing his beliefs onto you as much. But yeah, it did drop on Sunday. That's true. If you wanted a Chick Fil A sandwich while listening to this album, I'm sorry, that's not gonna happen. At least not today. But see, for me, this type of song is like, the one thing that bothers me about this album is the replay value. And for a lot of these songs, I don't know if it's there. I'm not gonna listen to the part twos. Not up here. Cause here's the thing. 
But now I feel like we're backtracking. And I feel like this is the experience. One through 23, I feel like is the experience he wants the listener to have. I feel like this is the beginning of the story. And this is the end of the story. Or maybe it's not even a story. It's more of like a, a, a church service, I guess. Uh, maybe that's why the album's long too. But there is some filler tracks on there. Some I feel like it's to create a vibe. But some are just too long for me. Like some could just serve as an interlude. Like if you have eight interludes on your album, I don't care. If they're short and concise and don't have any dragging factor to them, I'm good with it. But there was a lot of times on this album where I was just staring at the screen. And I was like, okay, we get it. You know what I mean? And he's been known to push the envelope a lot. But some of it was just a little too much for me, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah.